Themes and ostinatos. We can certainly use our symbols to develop themes for our drum solos. So here's an example of that. Here's an example of a cymbal ostinato that I'll create and then I can build a solo underneath that. One obvious musical benefit to cymbals uh, is their sustain quality. So we can certainly bring that out with sticks. also create a different kind of sustain when we utilize mallets and some other uh, tools that we have like brushes or the alternative sticks. So I'll demonstrate a little bit of that. Sometimes in my soloing I like to use alternative uh, implements. These are called flares. Um, so these kind of things give the cymbals and the drums a different sound, different texture, different feeling. So I'll play uh, a little bit of a solo utilizing these um, and we'll see what we come up with.
can also use our brushes in our solos and, and create different effects. I'll create kind of a wind effect. One obvious use of the symbols is to provide punctuation or to finish off a phrase. I don't necessarily view my symbols as crash symbols or ride symbols. I really view them as what kind of sound or color they deliver, what kind of texture. So a lot of times I'll look at symbols uh, in terms of low and high. And if I want a very dark low sound, I'm going to pick an appropriate symbol, like a swish. Conversely, if I want to go for a high sound, I'm going to be going for the bells and, and maybe even a flat ride cymbal. 